Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, bit of a break from the norm. Today's video, we're going to be looking at this. It's the Top Race TR143G, uh, 1 16th scale, we'll come to that in a minute, uh, 9 channel RC bulldozer. Now, if you're at all familiar with the cheaper end of the construction RC hobby, uh, you will probably recognise this as a Hawina 1569. Um, now then, Top Race, uh, probably very similar to Fly Hal in the fact that they sort of cherry pick uh, Hawina's uh, model uh, lineup of RC uh, construction vehicles and basically rebadge re them as top race. So th this, they're basically identical. And just like Flyhal, they tend to be cheaper than the model that they're actually based on. Uh, so if you bought the Hawina version of this, they retail for something like 80 odd quid. Uh, but one of these uh, top race version popped up on eBay for 45 quid. So I thought, you know what, I'm going uh, I'm going to give it a go. Anyway, uh, enough waffle, uh, let's get this thing out of its box. Now I will say before we get it out of the box that the packaging on these things is absolutely excellent. They actually come in their own polystyrene uh, box inside, uh, which we'll get out in a minute. So the, 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 the way they're packaged is absolutely superb. Now then, in the box we get our instruction manual. Now then, it comes in several languages. Unfortunately, there are no parts listed, uh, but you can get spare parts for it. Uh, so anyway, uh, like I said, this thing it comes impeccably packaged uh, in its own little polystyrene box. We get, oh God, the dozer itself. We get our battery, one charger, uh, and the all important controller. Right then, first impressions out of the box. And I personally think this thing looks absolutely fantastic. They really have done a bang up job uh, of making this look like a proper little bulldozer. Um, I don't know if it's loosely based on a sort of cat, is it cat D10, D11, something like that. But looks wise, I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job. Now then, the scale. They they state this scale as being 1 16th but there's no way in God's green earth that this is 1 16th scale um, I think their bull sorry their excavator um, is billed as being sort of 1 14th scale 1 16th scale and as you can tell the bulldozer is much much smaller so it's probably more like 1 20th something like that I would imagine possibly even smaller but there's no way in God's green earth that this thing uh, is 1 16th scale but because the thing looks so cool I think we're going to forgive uh, top race the scale issue uh, anyway this thing is a proper little nine channel bulldozer so everything works uh, the blade comes up and down the ripper at the back comes up and down obviously uh, both tracks you can move independently of one another uh, there is a few more extra bits and pieces on the control. We'll have a look. It has got lights and sound, etc. Um, but what we'll do, I'm charging the battery up at the moment. Uh, it's only got a little 600 milliamp hour battery, so how long that's going to last, I don't know. So I'm just charging the battery up at the moment. When it's finished, we'll give it a little trial on the desk. Right, I think the battery is sufficiently charged up enough so I can show you the features. Um, interestingly enough, it lives in a little compartment to the bottom. Uh, not only is it held in by a screw on the little door, uh, but we've also got a little plastic cache there as well, which is unusual. Um, anyway, uh, I've put two AA batteries in the controller. So I turn the controller on, turn the bulldozer on. Now, I personally don't like the sound, so we can turn them off. Uh, but there is sounds, obviously, when, when it's moving forward, backwards, you get all the different noises. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of that flashing light inside the cab either. But anyway, uh, let's go through what the controls do on the controller. So uh, these two uh, knobs here are the, the control, basically the tracks. You can have them independently. So got forward and backwards. And obviously we can rotate the bulldozer by moving these independently. Uh, the you've got the you can raise and lower the blade at the front by using these two buttons. Interestingly enough, it's actually on a cam. So if, even if you hold one of the buttons down, it basically just cycles through lifting and uh, lifting and dropping the, the blade. But anyway, that's what those two buttons do. Now we also have a, can, a ripper at the back, and we can raise and lower that as well. So that's the basic functions of this bulldozer. Um, I mean, obviously it's only a toy, uh, but what we really want to know is, can it shift any dirt? So that's precisely what we're gonna do now. 
you're going to take it outside and try it. Okay, then we're outside with the bulldozer. I've dug a bit of a hole here uh, with the excavator. And what I'm going to try and do is backfill it uh, using the dozer. Uh, this, this stuff is fairly light uh, material. I wouldn't expect this thing to be able to move uh, heavy soil around by any, any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can't backfill it and flatten it off. Well, it's actually not done too bad of a job. I mean, uh, this stuff is fairly light. Like I say, I wouldn't expect it to start moving clay or heavy soil around, uh, but it's actually done a reasonable job of pushing this, pushing this dirt around. I think what we'll try next, uh, we'll have a go with the ripper on the back. Okay then back inside, what do we think of the top race TR143G uh, RC bulldozer? Uh, well let's start with the good and bad points. Um, bad points, uh, the scale, 1 16th, no it is not. I think personally that this is based loosely on a Cat D9 and I've had a quick look at stats for a Cat D9, it's about 27 feet long. Uh, so we, that would make this at this length uh, approximately 1 to 22 scale. So it's nowhere near 1 16th scale. Um, again, manufacturers, I don't know why they bother lying about scales and speeds and things, just be honest. You, you still, If you want one, you're still gonna buy it. Uh, but it's nowhere near 1 16th scale. I mean, just to, I mean, this they bill this, the excavator, as 1 14th scale. Um, so that, that's nowhere near 1 16th. Right then, good points. I absolutely love the looks of this thing. I think they've done a really, really good job of uh, making this look like a proper little bulldozer. And it does. It, the looks are fantastic. I mean, you can't tell, uh, but they've even gone as far as to make the operator's position tilted to 15 degrees, just like the real thing. Um, so the so the attention to detail on this thing for the money, I think is absolutely superb. Now the next thing that really impressed me was the battery life. Uh, now it's only six hundred milliamp hour battery, but it lasted 
it must have been about 30 minutes of messing around with this thing I'm really impressed um and i know that there's only a series of like little 130 180 motors inside this so the, it, there's probably not a great deal of current draw but even so uh, the battery really did last a long time and i, I wasn't expecting you to be honest i thought it might go about 10 15 minutes out of it tops uh, but it, it, it must have been about 30 minutes easy now the third thing i liked about this thing is the price uh 45 quid which makes it approximately 58 dollars that is not a lot of money to spend on something like this uh, especially considering the huina version is normally double about 80 90 quid approximately uh, so 45 quid 58 dollars this makes it a really cheap little uh, bulldozer and last but not least the best thing about this little bulldozer is the fact that it's really good fun to use uh, i wasn't expecting much at 45 quid i thought mm, it might make a passable attempt at shifting some material around the garden but it actually did a really good job i know that that stuff was quite light uh, after i stopped filming though i did actually try it on some heavier soil and providing you don't take uh two bigger bites out of the soil with the blade and the ripper it does actually do a reasonable job and i did actually make a little road <laughs> through the veg patch with it uh, which is more entertaining actually than it should be i thoroughly enjoyed using this it's a right laugh but there's just i don't know what it is there's just something about uh, piloting a little tiny bulldozer around your garden pushing dirt around i think it just takes you takes me back to being a kid uh, but this thing is genuinely good fun and worth every single penny right then would i recommend the top race tr143g bulldozer to anyone and the answer is absolutely yes i mean for 45 quid it's worth ab it's worth every single penny um i had a right laugh using it uh, it will push dirt round, providing you've got the, the sort of a scale material for it to work with. Um, it really is genuinely good fun. I, I, I did thoroughly enjoy myself. I have got a bit of a soft spot for construction RC machinery anyway. Uh, but uh, for the money, this thing is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, if you've got 40, a spare 45 quid to, to spend, uh, go and get yourself one. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one from. Uh, I think they're still available at 45 quid, actually. I think it's it's actually from the top race shop on ebay but anyway um if you if you're thinking about it and you, you just just go and get one they're hilarious right then if you found this video of some use and interest please give it a big thumbs up and if you're feeling that way inclined hit that subscribe button for more similar future content uh thanks for watching guys and i will catch you again soon thank you